Hey guys, Kyle the Death Knight of Enemy here bringing my review for My Hero Academia chap Chapter 150 and I have to talk about the fight between Medio and, and Shin and Day 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 Door 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 The Drunkard Guy and the The Drunkard Guy and, and the and the guy wielding the pistol. Like honestly like that that fight, that beginning fight was epic, of course, but when, when, when Medio openly admitted, he basically, he basically told, Medio openly admitted, basically told them, he said, to, he told them of his quirk's ability, and then he immediately chastised himself, saying, my mouth moved on its own. You can fucking tell, that is that one line is basically addressing every time a main character has explained their power and explained their power to their enemy. And that's definitely something I love about Hodokoshi and it's been addressed before is how he isn't afraid to take jabs at other series that use this cliche. And he, like, I, I can't be mad that in this particular case, of course, he did use the cliche, but I can't be mad at him for using it because he was addressing how stupid the cliche was. So it's like, yeah, it's, it's one of those things where he's using the cliche, but he's using it using it to mock the cliche. So it is funny in that regard. Um, but yeah, this the, the 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 big chunk of this was of course it was it was a Murio centered chapter, and we definitely got a lot of about what Murio and him as a character. And the one thing I when when Murio was going through through that whole inner monologue of his. I feel that actually addressed a couple things about his character and what he thinks of the people around him, specifically Izuku, actually, because I think when when it was Shin who was using his hypnosis on him or, or whatever that kind of a power was, when when Shin made him admit his own weakness and made him admit what he did and whatnot, that was actually an interesting. That was an interesting, interesting because it. In that one instance where, where he openly, where he, where he admitted it, he, where, Sh, where Shin made him admit it, I think Mirio began realizing that one instance when he admitted that he failed to, when he failed to save Eddie the first time, he realized that he he should have just thrown out that whole fucking rule book about the Hero Society, and he should have just done what was right. And that's the one thing, that's the one actually major. Th Major. This is actually the one major thing I think was bro major thing I think to bring up is that Mirio, in terms of in terms of how Night Eye has built up Mirio as being the next successor of All Might, I feel that is one major thing that doesn't even qualify him to be the next symbol of peace, because whether or not because uh, the, the thing is. The, the way Night Eye, I think, has approached how he how he sees Mirio as the next symbol of peace is he see he sees Mirio, again he sees Mirio as the next symbol of peace because well oh Mirio does because Mirio is of course very he is very caring but he's also he he does have one major weak flaw compared to All Might which is that he he follows the rules and I think that's particularly why not I liked him is because even though Mirio was happy go happy go looking and he was optimistic and he loved and he loved um and he loved to be a hero he did also still follow the rules and I feel that that was even though Night I won't admit that to himself I feel that's the one reason as to why Night I chose Mirio is because Mirio was in fact someone who did follow the rules and and meanwhile, as as far as and and is and well, All Might on the other hand, he didn't. Eat, I mean, maybe to a certain degree, he followed the rules, but he. I don't think he cared about the. I don't think All Might cared a shit about the rules. Like I think he just saved people because he wanted to save them. Whereas Mirio, yeah, he definitely for the most part did kind of. He did follow the usual hero mindset in this world of that you need to follow the rules to be a hero but in, in that instance where, where he let me it go he realized i should have fucked i should have i should have thrown the rule book i should have thrown the rule book out and saved her i sh my inaction and failure the first time he, like medios i think media realizes his inaction 
based on what I've just said, I think Mirio realizes his in action. I think he's he, whether he he openly admits it later on or not. I think he's openly. I think he's admitting to himself that he is inferior as a possible compared to Izuku. He's inferior as a possible successor to All Might because Izuku what was was of course going to completely jump in there and save and save Eddie, but but Mirio stopped him and. It's in that parallel that he realizes that, wow, I, I suck as a, wow, I may claim to, claim, claim to idolize All Might, but I suck at, I would suck at being his successor almost in a way. And in a way that, 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 that is actually so funny when you think about it, because in the beginning of this arc, when we first get introduced to the Night Eye, he said it would be Izuku admitting he's inferior to Mirio. And now, again, whether he knows it or not, Mirio is the one admitting that he's inferior to Izuku and All Might. Like, he, I, th I think it would be more All Might in this case than Izuku, but in this case, he's definitely saying he's definitely inferior to All Might. Like, All Might wouldn't have given a shit about, about the rules. He would have just went ahead and saved that girl. It wouldn't have even mattered to him. So, and, yeah, and Mirio and, and Mir realizes that compared to that maybe All Might did, in fact, make the right decision when choosing when choosing All, when choosing All Might, when choosing Izuku, which, honestly, with, with this new... If this is basically the case, and, and I'm not overselling it, hopefully not, and this is what he is thinking, basically. It should be interesting to see um, how he, of if if he if he goes ahead and admits he, if it, it would be actually funny in a way. It, and and anyway, I think it would take that up by surprise if Mirio goes ahead and admits that All Might made the right choice by by choosing Izuku as the next symbol of peace. Like I think that would definitely shake. I think that would shake. Um, I think that would definitely shake. That would shake Night Eye up a bit, I think, and it would make him realize that, damn, what kind of part is this? Damn, like seriously, damn, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, I can def I can definitely see that happening for sure. <laughs> I just, oh, I don't know if it'll happen, but I hope it does. Like that would be great if it did. Um, and now that Mirio, and of course after he went through, when after he realized all this and he went through that. Mirio is now ready to. Has got his strong will back and his fighting spirit. His strong will and his fighting spirit back, and I actually do feel a little more confident about him being able to take on Overhaul. But I still think he'll need some serious help because, like I said, at the end of the day, Overhaul he is final fucking boss level. There is no getting around that shit. He is the final boss, and I'm sure he is being built up. Built. He's being built up for, for something great. I know that. But, and yeah, Mirio, I'm sure he could hold hold overall off a bit. I'm sure he could hold overall off. But I don't know about defeating him. I think they are going to need some freaking help. And Izuku, get your, get, your, get your ass in there already. Izuku, I hope you're on the way because you need to get your ass in there and help him. Um... But uh, but the one thing I do gotta say is that I feel that closing line of the closing line blurb of say, of Horikoshi saying he won't run away anymore. Um, in this particular case, I almost feel that's counter it, considering the situation that the, 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 this chapter ended off on. I feel it's a little counterproductive because in this situation, that's almost exactly what he should do in order to prevent Eri or to secure Eri's safety, like. Run okay. Fair enough. You still need to fight him, of course. But run. Take take Ari and leave him with like with uh, with uh, I think it was Aizawa or something. One of the, one of the pro heroes. L l go ahead, run and and take Eddie to one of the pro heroes for in order to secure her safety, and then deal with overhaul. Like seriously, run. Like dude, get the fuck out of there. You, you, Use use your phasing abilities and get get out of there and get Eri to safety. Like, yeah, don't I don't just stand there and I don't just stand there and fight her. Fight fight. You gotta choose fight overhaul or secure your safety. I I choose the latter right now, dude. So yeah.
Oh, and on a final note, when Eri, when Miru was taking out, I think it was it, those two goons, Shin, Shin and 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 De 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 De, 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 De Doro using his using his killer move, the killer move, Phantom Menace, like. You can like I know it was I know it was made more than obvious in the beginning parts of this, and I know the references and the the references and all the obvious obvious clues have been scattered throughout, have been scattered throughout the manga. So this isn't the first time it's happened, but this like that that name of that killer move, Phantom Menace. If you're not convinced at all that Horikoshi is this major Star Wars fan. And I don't know what manga you've been reading, because the little clues and the little hints have been scattered throughout this fucking manga. This was this was just a nail in the coffin. Like we've, we there there there, there was there, we we've had him even more so with uh, all for one's helmet uh, at the, the train station Tatooine or something. Seriously, the, the references have been all all over the place, and it's been great. <laughs> just just funny as hell to tell to see honestly like that, and uh, but. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much my review. If you enjoyed the video, like, comment, subscribe, or follow me on Twitter and Facebook. Death Knight of Anime, signing off. Later, guys.